Anyway, all right, let's get to work. Let's see if I have an email. I do have one here. I need the whole truth. You oh. don't have to lie to me. Dear Neve Cammy, my name is Kirsten and I'm a single mom living in Fargo, North Dakota. God, I wish we could go to Fargo. I knew you were gonna say that. I'm in a bit of a situation, but I'm not sure if your show helps people like me. Hmm. A little backstory. My quarantine sucked. But it got better when this guy named Alex sent me a friend request. And when I looked at his page, I noticed that Alex had just moved to Fargo from Oklahoma. He messaged me right away and we started chatting back and forth. I was newly single and wanted to take things slow. But I found myself agreeing to meet him and go on a date the next weekend. Unfortunately, the Friday before our date, Alex's dad had a stroke and he had to fly back home. A day or so later, I opened my Snapchat and found a message from him. It was a black screen that had two emojis on it, one of a cat and the other of a fish. Oh my God. Delete the whole account. I really liked him, so I told him that if he did tell me who he was, we could still talk. If you're gonna lie to me. And he never responded. I wanted to put it all behind me, but said he lived in Fargo, so the idea that I might run into this lying person who is compromising pictures of me has started making me paranoid. I know you guys usually help someone who isn't sure if they're being catfished or not. Well, I know that I've been catfished, but now I'm paranoid that everyone I come across is him. I don't want to keep living like this. Can you help me? Kirsten. Wow. This is different though, because right away he admitted he was a catfish, but now he could be creeping around. He might be lurking. But that's what makes me think that this could be someone that she knows already. Right. It's like, it could be anybody. All right, let's give uh, Kirsten a call. Fargo. Ooh. Come on, Kirsten. <gasps> oh. Hey. Hey, Kirsten. Hi. So nice to see someone with a house full of things. Seriously. Yeah. And mine is very full right now. My daughter and I just moved and everything is not in a home. <laughs> Where'd you move from? Just from another apartment. Oh. Oh, well, we wish we could have come to see you in your new uh, apartment in North Dakota. Yeah. How old is your kid? She just turned two in March. Oh, that's so nice. And how long were you with or married to her father? I was with Randy for a little over three years. We broke up in February. It was a little bit rough. So just this February? Yep, just this past February. Is he around and helpful and still involved? Um, Yeah, we have her 50-50, and we kind of oh, okay. do as much as we can to help each other out to make sure that, that she's got everything she needs. So you've got your beautiful daughter. You're in a new apartment. You're sort of starting fresh. How do you meet Alex? I was actually quarantining with my ex at the time. We lived with each other from when we broke up in February until just now in June when we finally got our own places, which was rough by the end there. Like we just thought all the time. And then one night this guy adds me and I'm like, hmm, I don't know him. His bio said he had just moved here from Oklahoma and was looking to make new friends in Fargo because he got a job here. There were other people from Fargo that were mutual friends with me. So I was like, okay. Oh, uh, okay. And so like, I knew that he was at least in kind of one of the circles that I follow. Okay, so you get a friend request and then you guys start talking. So how did that start? He reached out to me, told me he thought I was cute. I'm not used to people thinking that I'm attractive after I've had my baby. So <laughs> the fact that he, it was even a person who thought I was cute, I was kind of like, oh. Oh. He said he came from a smaller town that was something like Stillwater, Oklahoma. He works at the radiology department of the hospital here in Fargo. So you guys started talking and that first kind of weekend, you guys were, at, were started planning to meet up. Yeah, we had been bouncing ideas off of one another, like where we would want to go, what we would want to do. Bowling wasn't open at the moment, but that was kind of something I was thinking of. Maybe ice cream afterwards. Cute. And, and while you were planning to meet up, you were also sending him some pictures. Yes, to be honest, it was just really flattering to have somebody who wasn't right. Randy finding me attractive in the first place. Cause I was just right. like, who wants a mom bod? 
No, that's not true. No, I know. No, it's tough. I, I know it's tough. Did you initiate sending him the photos or did Alex ask for it? He asked for them. So did he send you pictures of anything sort of? He didn't, hot? no, because I told him not to. Oh. Why? Because I don't want pictures of it. <laughs> I fully agree. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 